What's up guys, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making this awning, yes an awning, <laughs> just using only cardboard and this is perfect for birthdays, baptism, any decoration or playroom. Um, I've seen people put it in playroom or coffee station or you can just put it in a bedroom like I did. So if you want to see how I made this, keep on watching. First you're going to need boxes. I don't have any boxes so I went ahead and purchased the trifolds. I'm using two of them from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use school glue, some push pins, scissors, newspaper, you can use a market paper, um, jet black and snow white paint, and a cup. Oh and don't forget we need a brush and um, tape. I don't have the tape in here but you're also going to need your glue gun. Now let's get started. First, you're going to cut one of the flaps like that, as you see here in the picture, and then we're going to um, put it, secure it on the wall with the push pins because it'll be easier to work on the awning that way. Now, that piece that you cut off, you're going to cut into six pieces, and then we're going to glue three over each other using our school glue or the hot glue gun, but I'm using school glue. So three together, just to make it thicker because this is going to hold our awning up. Remember, you can use a tower game or any wood or popsicle sticks, but remember I'm doing this entire project using cardboard and um, newspaper, so this is the way I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to cut my newspaper. This is just an idea of how it's going to stand, but I'm going to, after I cut the newspaper in little strips, I'm going to draw how I want my yawning, the design basically. Now I eyeballed this, but you can use a CD and um, trace it if you want it perfect. But I just, I mean, I just eyeballed it <laughs> and I just did it that way. Um, and then I just went in and cut it. Now you're going to take your cup and fill it up with some water. It's going to be part water and part school glue. So if you're doing half a cup of water, you're going to do half a cup of school glue. What this is going to do, you can totally skip this step. You can do, um, just use the, the trifold or the cardboard by itself. But what this is going to do is that when I put the newspaper and this glue on top of it, this mix, it's going to act like a cast. It's going to make it a little harder. Um, so I'm going to do that just because I felt like the, the awning is a little bit wobbly if I just use cardboard. Now you see here the, the strips that I cut, um, I'm going to cut a little bit of the edge just to give it a little curve and I'm going to place that under the awning but first I'm going to cover that with the newspaper and the mixture that I have because I want it a little bit harder. Um, because this does harden up, it acts like a cast basically. So I'm going to apply some, this is how I do it, apply some glue, put on the newspaper, and then give it a top coat. And that's it. And you just let it dry. It dries quicker in the sun and um, hardens faster. But that's pretty much it, what I did for this part. And I'm going to do the entire board, not the entire board, like the, the big rectangle part, just to make it less wobbly. Because I realized after I cut it, I'm like, okay, this is really wobbly. So I went ahead and did it on that as well. You'll see in a minute here. Remember friends, if you like videos that are straight on point, this is the place for you. So make sure to subscribe. I know right <laughs> but anyways if you have newspaper sticking out the side you're going to apply some glue on top of it and fold it back or you can just cut the, the, extra, the extra parts off um see now after this is dry my board will be less wobbly and that's how I want it I want it a bit firm but you can totally like I said this does take time so 
you could totally skip this step and just do it cardboard. So here I'm just giving it a nice top coat and letting out, getting out any air bumps um, and I'm going to let it dry. Now I'm going to take those little pieces that I cut before the little strips and I'm just going to add a craft stick to the back of it. So using my hot glue I'm going to glue that to the back just to make it a bit more firm. Even though it is firm already I just you know it's just me. <laughs> you can totally skip this step you don't have to add the craft stick but it's I just had craft sticks on hand so I just put that on there. Now I'm going to take it and hot glue it on the inner side, on the inside of my awning, just so it can hold it up. As you see here, I'm going to close it and you guys can see that it doesn't close all the way. So that's perfect. That's how I want it. Um, and I'm going to take my other trifold board and I'm going to cut the two flaps off the side and I'm only going to use the center part. So then I'm going to place that center part on the side of my awning just to measure exactly where to cut. So taking a marker or Sharpie or anything and just mark where you need to cut. So now that I have it cut, I'm going to take that by next to the awning again and um, I'm going to close the side. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue it there to the side. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side because I do want my awning closed from the side there's some awnings that are don't need to be closed from the side by the way so this step is totally up to you And here I'm doing the same thing. I'm eyeballing it. I'm just going to make those half circles and I'm going to cut it. Like I was saying before you guys, this this DIY is perfect for baptisms. I mean, it only cost me like literally nothing. It's just buying the cardboard. And if you have the cardboard at home, this project is totally free. So why not give it a try? I put it by my bed in the master bedroom, but um, definitely I can see this looking great by a coffee station too. The second time around you guys for the other side, I realized that it's much easier to make the half circle the design first and then glue it on there. So that's what I did this time. I did the half circles and then I glued it to the other side. That's it. We're done with the hard part. Now you're just going to take your tape and make a line in um, for each section or whatever design you want and just paint. For me, I'm just going to do the basic. I'm just going to have one half circle black, one half circle white. So here I'm done with the black and I went ahead and painted the white and this is how it looks beside my bed. And I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Mine is very simple. I just added some beads to it. Um, but definitely let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And remember um, how I put this up is that the same thing I did down there when I was making the project itself. I just put push pins back. I don't want to damage my wall. So this is how it looks. I just took like five or six push pins and I pushed them in from the, the little flap in the back. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more fun DIYs. See you all next time. Bye.